We begin tonight with a follow up on the response to the blizzard of 22. It's been more than a month since that history making storm swept through western New York. More than five feet of snow fell around Christmas. 46 people in Erie County died as well as one person in Niagara County. Roads were closed for days. The NFTA suspended bus routes and shut down the Buffalo Niagara International Airport. Krista Moran heard from NFTA leaders as they talked about the challenges they faced during and after the storm. For the first time since the blizzard, NFTA leaders were able to share their storm experiences while emergency crews described their heroic efforts to save more than 100 people. One month after the blizzard, the NFDA is taking a step back to reflect on the challenges that came with whiteout conditions and high winds reaching nearly 80 miles per hour. The challenges that we know that day was the storm itself. The NFDA shut down services ahead of the storm. The Buffalo Niagara International Airport closed from December 23rd to the 28th. Crews could barely see the airfield. We went from trying to keep the runways open on the 23rd to just working on life safety. The airport and surrounding facilities soon became a safe haven for 141 people and one dog nearby. Some even got stuck in this tunnel on Arrow Drive. Emergency crews say they went through extensive measures to save those people. And what we did to guide ourselves was took the road flare, we lit it, and we would put it every 8 to 10 feet in the snowbank. And we created this path of light all the way to the tunnel. It was zero visibility for us to go out there. It was difficult to breathe. It was difficult to see. Um, but we knew that we had to go out and assist the people that were out there. Above all, the NFTA says it's thankful no one died. And that's a testament to the first responders in the field and the airport personnel. Despite this, Jeffrey Richardson, president of the transit union, says on the metro side of things, there was very little communication. He says workers were told to come into work even though services weren't running. When they told people to come to work, they had no food at the stations. The people had nothing to eat. Richardson says he wants to see changes for their members, and the fight is only just beginning. Krista Moran, 7 News, Buffalo.